all right drivers what's going on welcome back to the channel lockout man here back again with another one and as you guys know you guys know well majority of you that's in the trucking world knows that prime had introduced their ai cameras to their drivers this year <laughs> Hear the music. So Prime is now one of the mega carriers that have cameras in their trucks. Forward facing the driver and outward facing the road. It is called the Nidine. Netrodine. The Neodine. Netrodine. I, I can't pronounce it. Neodine, Niodine. Netrodine. Driver Eye AI camera. And it picks up everything everything this i drive camera or driver eye camera i am definitely not a fan of it because it pings dings and hits you for just about every little thing that you do now the company is going to say hey well it's for it's for the driver it helps the driver in certain situations stop the cap <laughs> But it's a snitch though. They shouldn't even call this the driver eye. They should call it the driver. Yo, you need to stop snitching, granddad. Ow. Because this camera snitches on you just about for every little thing you do. You do a rolling stop, it's snitching. You speeding, it's snitching. You you blow your nose, it's snitching. This situation right here, man, makes it a little bit more aggravating for the driver, in my opinion. That's, that's just my opinion. But a lot of companies is going this way of the of the camera. It picks up when you smoke, picks up when you drowsy, picks up when you're when 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 you're not paying attention. And I guess it's okay. You want your drivers to be the best drivers out on the road. You want to have the best drivers out on the road. You want the driver to be doing what he's supposed to do. Hey, congratulations, you played yourself. This added anxiety just makes it more, more stressful, if that's a good word to say. So in this episode, I'm talking about the iDrive camera and the seven things that this camera will ding you for probably on a daily basis. And the rules of the camera that you might want to keep in mind. Rules of the camera light number one, don't take your eye off the road for more than five seconds. That means don't look away, don't look to the left, don't look to the right, and definitely don't look down for a long period of time. Now, in my experience, if I'm looking to the left and looking to the right, it pretty much don't say anything. But when you looking down, say like you're looking for your water bottle or something like that and if it's more than five seconds the camera will say something to you it will say something like distracted driving or something like that so in my experience it has gotten me for that plenty of times number two don't let a phone be seen in your hand period period if you're not stopped for whatever reason that you had to pick up your phone while you're driving it will pick it up it will ding it it will be a severity and it will be sent to your safety department they will see is the camera live feed? can somebody in the office live feed into your camera some say no others say yes i'm not sure i just heard from secondhand accounts that the camera is accessible via live feed i don't know i i don't know number three camera only picks up seat belt strapped over the chest yes if you one of those drivers that feels uncomfortable with the seat belt going across your chest and you usually puts it behind the camera will ding you for that number four camera typically starts recording speeding over five four or five miles over the speed limit 
I am not sure about that because I have driven over the speed limit plenty of times. I'm not sure how they got the speed limit set. But I try not to go over 70 where there's where there's miles over 70. I do believe I have touched a little bit over 70. Have the camera started recording? I'm not sure. Have it dinged it for me? Yeah, a couple of times the camera did tell me to slow down. But that was in situations that I was that I was doing 70. It the speed limit is 70, but it picks up at 65 and it says slow down. So just basically watch your speed. Over here, we will lose our safety bonus if the speed is over 80. So it's automatically canceled for that week or for that month if the iDrive catches the speed over 80. It has caught a couple of drivers just last month speeding over the 80 and they didn't get their safety bonus. Another thing that this camera gets me on at number five is full stop at the stop sign before the camera passes. This thing gets me all the time when it comes to stop signs. I have to make, I had to put it in my mind that I had to stop fully at the stop sign for at least five seconds before I go. Come to a complete stop, five seconds, and then go. There has been plenty of times that this camera has got me when I was in yards and a few times what I did rolling stops. So I gotta put it in my mind that I gotta make sure that I come to a complete five second stop before I drive off. Number six, don't go through a yellow stoplight unless you can clear it before it turns red, you will get dinged. So a lot of drivers, I know you guys like to speed up when y'all start seeing the light change and y'all like to catch that yellow light. This iDrive or driver eye camera will catch it and it will ding you, okay? So try to anticipate the light changing when you coming up on it. If it's still there, by the time you get there and you get up under it, I, I, I'm going to assume you're cool. But before you get there and the light is already yellow and it changes to red and you still go up under it, it will catch you. It would also catch you for hard braking. And even though it says it's a moderate, but it's also a severe depending on how hard you brake. It will take the pressure. It will look at the look at the situation and figure out why the hard brake was implemented. And number seven, and this one right here, the last one is annoying. It is hugely, hugely annoying. Number seven, keep at a minimum a car length between you and the car in front of you, or you will get dinged for following distance. If a car cuts you off, you have to at least slow down to make the distance for you. And I get hit with this daily, daily, average, average distance, average, whatever. For a car, I guess it's like a car length. For a truck, it's at least four seconds. Sometimes the truck will pick up the distance in front of you and kind of let you before the iDrive catch you. But nine times out of 10, the iDrive will catch you. It's annoying. It could be, it can be disputed because if your safety department sees it because it dings all the time and your safety department should already know that cars cut you off all the time. And then there are situations where you will be in that you won't be able to make that space because either another truck took it or cars just constantly cut you off on a daily. So that's it, guys. That's the iDrive in a nutshell. Again, a lot of truck trucking companies have this system in their trucks. Before this was the Litex system, but the Niodyne Netrodyne driver eye system is AI generated and it's a little bit more detail. You guys do have access to the camera, not to the camera per se, but you have access to the camera to see 
everything that it has picked up on you it will keep track by a score it starts you off at a thousand and then it just gradually goes down throughout the day as you're driving what you want to do like in my situation our safety bonus in order to get the best safety bonus you gotta end the you gotta end the month off with at least a thousand points or more anything under a thousand is still a good lick for you but you also got to just make sure that you're a little bit more focused on your driving and i and again it is stressful it's another piece of aggravation that drivers in my opinion that got to go through because now they're just being Somebody's watching me. and then they're being deemed for every little thing that they do again like i said i don't think it's the driver i i think it's the driver snitching that's that's my thing but let me know what you think in the comments below let's get the engagement started you know what i'm saying if you guys like content like this make sure you like and share and i'll come back at you with another peace if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you would have none of y'all shit this video was brought to you my truck and a truck driver.